what is up guys back at it again for episode number three um, we did a little bit of off-screen training so you will see our dear Bumba is now level 10 so uh, he should do good see if he'll hold up I want to kind of save our links for capturing some cool stuff so we will see all right follow the path to the 50 acre woods all right so this is where we need to go all right we're gonna start rolling through these woods here all right let's kind of just blast through here So we got a battle up here. This is Jasmine Tubler. Older Town is such a quiet town, but it produces some of the greatest evokers. All right, let's battle. Let's do this thing. All right, Moncopod. Let's crush it. All right, you'll notice Bumba has gotten quite a few new attacks. So he's starting to learn all of the elemental attacks, which is cool. Um, I think, I don't know if I'm quite decided on if I want to evolve him into fire or the earth type. So, I don't know. I don't really know. We're already pretty far onto the fire side of it, so maybe we'll just keep it going and just go with the fire evolution. Especially since we're getting so many grass types here. Might as well just knock out our fire type and then kind of just build our team the rest of the way as we see fit. You can't have a team in this type of game and not have a good fire type, especially an offensive type. So I think that's what we're going to do. Originally I was thinking of just doing earth type, but I guess I kind of just changed my mind just now, and that's okay. All right, so... Let's keep moving on. Alright, as you can see, there's an item right there. He caught us right as we were getting it. So, we got Hero. Some kind of adventurer. Uh, flashbacks of the first time we got wrecked here. But it should be alright now because we are way higher leveled and we have better attacks. So, I think we'll be alright this time. Also, this one's half the level that the first one was. Did not mean to do that. Nah, one more should do it. Got it. Alright. Oh, this guy's loaded up. There we go, burned. All right, just so you guys know also, I don't know if I hit on this yet, but the statuses are stackable. So if you are burned, you can get hit again, and then you'll be badly burned. Or I can't remember how they say the, the bleeding one, but like stage one is bleeding, and then stage two is like heavily bleeding or something like that. So they are stackable times two. So maybe we will be able to see some of that sometime in the near future. But not on this one, because it's probably going to die here. Thought so. Alright, he will probably level up again by the time this battle is over. One more should do the trick, and we should be out of here. Oh, just barely. That's okay. Actually, I'm going to recover one more time, just in case. And also another quick tip that you guys might want to know. 
as soon as you leave the battle, obviously all of your moves recharge, so you don't have to, like, even though the statuses and all that other stuff carries over, all of your recharging will, you know, replenish after each battle, so that's something to keep in mind, too, so you can heal right before you deliver the killing blow, that way you don't have to use, you know, a potion or something of that nature before you start roaming around and getting to the next battles. So I don't quite remember which way to go, so we're just going to wing it. They probably all lead to the same place. This guy's going to battle us anyways. Alright, we got a farmer. This one shouldn't be too difficult. Looks like he's only got two. Alright, so, also, um, quick little plug here. Uh, since you guys are already on the channel, um, take a second to check out some of the streams that we will be doing in the future. Um, I'll try to see if we can schedule certain times so that you guys can tune in during the stream but uh, we just wrapped up a stream maybe about an hour ago um, we'll be uploading that video to our channel so keep heads up for that um, a lot of the streaming that we're going to be doing is going to be games that you know my brother is a part of our channel here and he has built his own gaming computer so he has a lot more capability than I do as far as you know PC games so like I specialize more on the handheld side of things he is definitely more in the area of PC games like console-esque games you know so uh, the game that we are streaming tonight was Elder Scrolls Legends so it's the card game. It's similar to Hearthstone. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I feel like I would suck at it, but um, he he's the one doing the driving during it. So, you know, we ended up doing all right, doing some ranked matches. So it's fun. Um, it was our first time trying to figure out, you know, all the ins and outs of streaming um, while doing Skype, because I ended up not being able to head over there and stream with him, so we just did a Skype, he screen shared, so that I could watch, you know, live full time without the delay, and yeah, it took us a little while to figure out all of that, but I think we did it decent, at least for our first stream, so go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested in you know you know live game streaming and stuff like that and more of that style of games um, that will be a regular thing so keep your eyes peeled All right, I feel like I'm doing nothing to this guy maybe I was pushing the wrong wrong attack because now it seems to be destroying him all right, that is level 12. He's starting to get up there. I might catch another another Creo to kind of even it out so we're not getting one super overpowered Creo. So I just don't want it to be super lame, so I still probably want to wait until... I have no idea where I'm going. All right, that kind of took a second. Kind of had me worried for a little bit. All right. I know the name of that attack is kind of strange. Squirt. It's just a little odd if you ask me, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe you guys weren't even thinking about it until I said something, so in that case, you're welcome. All right. I'm gonna try to find my way. This is definitely not like the first forest that you encounter in most Pokemon games where I see some grass in there. Where you can just, you know, easily follow the trail and you're good to go. 
This is a little bit more tricky. I kind of see like a secret passageway up here, so we'll see. All right, we're gonna run from some wild battles just for the sake of time. So we don't want to deal with a lot of that stuff. All right, here's this. There you are. You didn't think I'd let you go after Father all by yourself, did you? Oh, it looks like you have your very own Creo. Let's see if you know how to use it. Hopefully we don't get destroyed here. I think we'll be all right. Oh my God. God! Look at the rank of that. This is going to be interesting. And that will be our saving grace. Oh my god! I wonder if the AI is going to be decent on this and it's going to actually... try to recover. Come on, get the status. Confuse. Yeah, oh, so close. All right, we actually managed to do it. That is awesome. Boom, we won. Not bad. Clearly. Good luck out there. All right, well, concise and to the point. Ooh, I think this is it. Yes. All right, so we made it to Plante Village. Awesome. I knew that that was gonna be an NPC. All right, over here. You're here to register for arena tournament, no? If I win, I'm going to throw a huge party, and Plante Village is invited. You'll come too, no? Shadowhive, can't say I've heard of them. So you aren't going to join the tournament then? Well, no worries. Better odds for me. Wish me luck. Oh, before I forget, you check out the Evo Coast Center just south of here. You know, the big white building. They have a blue healing station you can use to restore the health of your Creo. Anyway, see you later. All right course Pokemon Center blah 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 Creo Center I'm not mistaken we can also shop here so maybe we'll pick up some items that is the healing machine bam all right let's see so that says basic tools so that's just a normal link I might change the way this is if that's gonna be an issue but that's all right <clears throat> All right, so Chef Drop heals 20 HP plus 15 of the Creo's HP. I have no idea what that means. So heals 20 HP plus 15 of the Creo's HP. I have no idea what that means. I never understood what that means. So I don't really know what to say there. For those of you who think that sounds confusing, if you know what it means, please, by all means, throw that in the comment section and let me know what it means. But heals 20 HP plus 15 of the Creo's HP. So I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking it and it's simple, but I'm totally lost on that. While we're here, let's talk to a few people. Boda items are great for removing conditions off of your Creo. Good to know. We got this crazy lady over here. Crazy guy. I am busy looking up the current standing at the arena. I want to see who will end up going to the Coliseum. Let's see. I should test my skills in the Plante Arena. All right. Let's head over there now. Actually... We should prepare for the tournament. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Regional area defender. We can be found in regions that have an arena and are known to be the toughest evokers in the region. 
you want to go to the Coliseum, then you will need to challenge and defeat all six rads. You can challenge me after you beat the local arena. All right, I do know these guys are pretty difficult. So that would be one thing for us to look out for. All right, I think... I think... We don't get one here right now. I do know we pick one up here. Maybe it's right here. Odd Lair found these Creo when he was a young evoker like yourself. Now he stays on this farm raising those Creo and giving them to worthy evokers. Sending a Creo with a talented evoker is a way of staying in the game even though he is getting old. Alright, where are you at, guy? Where is this guy? I probably have to beat the arena, which is... Something that I will probably start off the next episode with, but we are going to head there now. Cops. Keep an eye on your Creo. Shadow Hive are a bunch of thugs that have been stealing evokers, Creo, and kidnapping citizens. Good to know. Alright, that's a teleporting crystal. Must have at least one Creo with the teleport active. That's an ability, so if you have the ability to teleport, then you can use those teleporting crystals to travel various places across the map. All right. Genetically modified Creo. So those are kind of like real life hacked Creo. So usually you're way higher in the stats department. Ooh, look at that. Ah, what's going on? And special guests are allowed inside. If you win the arena tournament later today, the prize is inside. Okay, cool. Alright, now I just need to know where... There's an item right there. Mahogany log. Still don't know what those do. There's another one. Ooh, here it is. This is the arena. Welcome to the plantation arena. You need to pay a small fee. Five bucks. If you don't have at least five bucks, then you're screwed. So, this is what the arena looks like. Alright. Well, that's it. That'll be the end of this episode. Next episode, we are going to challenge the arena and see if we come out victorious and what challenges we run into. Also, we will see if we learn any more about Shadow Hive. So, stay tuned for next time. Uh, drop a sub if you're wanting to keep up. If you're new, go back, watch the first and second episodes and catch up. And as always, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.